you saying your name and I'm from Philadelphia. I'm Raphael, and I'm actually from Spain. Mm -hmm. My name's Rachel, I'm from South Carolina. You are? <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm Lynn, and I'm from here, but I have been to Salvador and seen a lot of couple. Not, I have not participated, but I saw <laughs> Maybe we can get you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what's your name again? Rachel. And Lynn. Lynn, Lynn Rachel, Raphael. Raphael and Ezekiel. Lon. Lon. <laughs> uh, okay, my name is, uh, let's see, <laughs> uh, Martel Oliver, but in Capoeira they call me now Professor Martel. Just means professor, person who teaches Capoeira, and my name. In Capoeira, you usually get a, a nomiji ga, pretty much a war name or apelido, which is a nickname. My nickname used to be Little Slave. Um, said to be because of maintaining the deep roots of Capoeira, but you know the way society has been for over 600 years, you know. I couldn't continue to allow myself to be called that name, so I kind of cut that off and said, you know, I want to just be called Martel. I think that will be a better decision for me. Um, just like you didn't know that she lived in South Carolina, I would be around people for maybe six or seven days a week, 12 years of my life, and they don't know anything about me. You know, so a lot of people criticize me because I got rid of the name, but sometimes the name is just, it's thrown on you, you know, you don't pick the name. But I already, it's like I can't live two lives, you know? If you have your name and then someone throws another name on top of you, it's like you gotta put that, your first name on the back burner, you know? So you kinda gotta live up to this name that they're giving you. And it never really gave an opportunity for me to say who I was. I was just always being, yeah, I was always, I was always a little slave. I was always living up to the name that I was supposed to be. So nobody knew me within 10 to 12 years unless they, you know, called my phone or we hang out or something like that. Um, I'm about to celebrate 14 years of Capoeira and about Two and a half weeks, so I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited about that. That is, it's been a long, very long, very long journey. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Most people that I've trained with, that grew up with, they haven't reached this level. They maybe do 10 years, eight years, two years. The people that do 10 to eight, some of them just say, you know, have a family, get married, let their body get out of control, get too uh -huh. overweight that they cannot do capoeira anymore. Um, I feel like between the two documentaries, the one that you watched, um, that Dr. Waterson sent you, and the one that we just watched gave you a very, very good understanding of capoeira. But I, I want to tell you a little about the capoeira that I practice. So there is capoeira regional, or regional, which is very uh, combative, very up top. You will, you will see a lot of kicks, a lot of straightforward kicks, and a lot of combat, a lot of grabs, a lot of punches. That's Hezronau. And then you have Capoeira Angola, which is more like the chess of Capoeira. More like, um, everybody knows the Twister board game, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Capoeira Angola, I would say, is the Twister mixed with chess of Capoeira. So you want to be able to manipulate a person and play around with the person more so than just go straight for them. So um, for Hezhanal, you can get straight to the point. Angola, you can say, hey, 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 how you doing? Where you been? And then go boom. And then that's the way that they will never know that your intentions. So Capoeira Angola was the start of Capoeira because they had the Hide their fight into a dance. Yeah. All right. So they might do a little dance, do some spinning, do some spinning, and then bam, the hit. All right. I 
Flower Capoeira, my mastery was on the video. I didn't get a chance to point them out, but um, our Capoeira is a mix between Angola and Hezrena. And a lot of people will call it contemporary or they call it many things, but we just like to call it Capoeira. So it's a mix between Hezrena and Angola. But we never get too much of either side. It's like a gift and a curse. So you never get too much Hezronal, and you never get too much Angola. So you, if you ever get to see me play, or <laughs> come to one of my classes, or link up with me, you will see the difference between the Hezronal and Angola, because it just flows. It flows and it hits, it flows and it hits, it flows and it hits, it flows and it hits. One time I might do a cartwheel and a nice little ballerina spin, and then I do a straight kick, or uh, a hammer kick or a roundhouse kick, which is, I'm pretty sure Lime has showed you. <laughs> well, also, Rachel does all kinds, and they've capoeira in their combat. I what is it? I and Raphael has played, and yeah. Lynn has done the music. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah. I've done a little bit of capoeira, and that's not even I can't do a fun of piano or anything. I can't. Hey, I, 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 I know. I need a small one. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so you guys. You all know that. Um, yeah, so that's like, um, I would like to say my life in a nutshell. Not to get too deep, because I always kind of think that I get a little too deep. All right, so I do want you to clear off your desks. Capoeira said they have three elements. Fight, a dance, and a song. Um, when thinking about mindfulness, <coughs> since Capoeira, the songs portray the game, and the game portrays the song, the song always comes first. Okay, so you have to, it's like, it's like making a beat. If you want to make a song, you know, you <coughs> play your instruments first, <coughs> then you have your vocals, and then you might add like ad libs and stuff like that. So, right now, I am going to get you all to teach me a song. <laughs> it sounds weird, it sounds very weird, but. It's going to work. Hopefully it works. Yeah, it's exactly yeah. what their midterm project is, actually. <laughs> so you're, go you're going to um, teach me your song. And let me just intro introduce your instrument that you're actually making right now. So your table is going to be a conga, or in Capoeira we call it atabaki. Atabaki will stand a about twice the size of this, a lot of ropes. The mechanics are so different, but we make do since we're in America and atabakis are very expensive. So, <laughs> your table is going to be your atabaki. You're not going to say any words. Your your song is just going to be with your hands, with the feet, with the rhythm. Okay. So if I would if I give you an example, this would be my song. I would do that over and over again. And that would be it. Okay. Now, what's your song? <laughs> okay. Oh, where, where are you done? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a famous song. <laughs> spontaneous. <coughs> you didn't know what you were going to do. But you had like you had like a half a second for those 
<laughs> Those, you had like a half a second to think about it. Those on the back end of like, hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so now you are playing your atabaki. Your songs are very good. I can see that we have a little rhythm. Um, the song or rhythm that I want to teach you is called Angola. Okay, you can use one hand. Well, we're going to do this. We're going to use one hand and we're going to use two hands. Okay? And this will be, um, let me tell you what you are saying in your song. You are saying that you want to see a game that is very intricate. The game has to stay below your instrument. It has to be slow. And you don't want to see anybody get hurt. Okay? So that's that's the, story, that's the story of your rhythm. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. You're gonna hit once, hit twice, give a slap or just a close. It's gonna be hard to do on your table, table. but <laughs> I've had some people really master it. So <laughs> we're gonna put those two together. Okay, let's see if we can put the first three together. That was good. <laughs> you see, he really mastered it. That was I can tell the difference between the open notes and the slaps, even on his desk. song that's saying that you want it to be low, slow, intricate. Now, let's see if we can add another element to it. Um, let's add the actual song. So now our song will be our rhythm, and we'll have a song that will be the focus. Okay. Um, so we have a rhythm now that is saying that we want the game to be low, slow, intricate, nobody's getting hurt. A lot of fancy stuff going on, a lot of fancy footwork. Now, so that's one element. Now our song is gonna say something similar. Let's 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 go with something similar. Okay? No, let's not. Let's make it <laughs> difficult, okay? Let's yeah, go, they can handle difficult. Let's go for a song that has nothing to do with um what the rhythm is saying, okay? Don't quote me on this, but <laughs> I just want to give you a general understanding that this, the, the rhythm is going to say that I want to slow, nice, we said that before, good. 
Now the song is going to say that sometimes there's good times, sometimes there's bad times, yes, no, maybe so, yesterday I had a bad day, today I had a good day, I don't know what I'm going to eat tomorrow, um, I don't know if I'm going to wake up tomorrow. Is that fine with everyone? Okay. Sounds good. See where this goes. Um, to, to think about it, the closest genre I could probably put cowboy to music to would be the blues. Okay. So just just keep that in your mind. All right. So if I'm I'm just gonna set the tone. So that's, that's going to be your tempo. Your words are going to be O, O, C, 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 O, O, now, 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 now. I shared this book with them, by the way, with your kids. Oh, yeah. Those kids are awesome. Okay. So, O, C, C, C. Oh, no, no, no. Sing, sing, or C, C? Yes. Sing. Sing. Yes, yes. Sing. Oh, sing. 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 Now we gotta add a little melody to it. Oh, oh, sing, 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 sing. Oh, oh, now, 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 now. Oh, sing, sing, sing. Sing. 
That's right. See? <laughs> and I told you we have multiple kashishi for later. I said Lynn brought some. can pick up or many capoeiristas can pick up right off the back. Everyone's going to have a problem with that. You know? And you might be good at one, two, maybe three things, but you won't be good at everything. I was good at that bidimba over there, and I'll bring that in in a second. Um, that was my instrument of choice, which is the most complex instrument, but for some reason it just worked for me. You know, 
practice made perfect, and I was just, I was a singing wizard, I thought. <laughs> I thought, okay? So, um, but there has an instrument that is like a gourd with ridges in it, and they call it the heckle heckle, and it has lines, and you contradict it <laughs> with a stick. And you go, very simple instrument, but I could not play it to save my life. I would be like, Oh, oh, ah. so I would just leave that instrument to the side. I know it's so bad to do, you know, when you have to do it, you just have to do it. But I, I always left that instrument to the side until later along I got comfortable, a lot of practice, synchronizing the voice and the hands together. So I like that you could see the game, and I love that you were like, no, it's not happening. <laughs> not yet. A lot of practice is going to have to happen for me to see this many things. So that's what a Kapurista goes through on the daily in a hall, though, which we are in right now, a circle. Um, predominantly, the guy on the end of the game, I do, you said about contradict, the players contradicting the song. The rhythm, right? Mm -hmm. um, the players will always, I'm going to say 90%, 95% of the time, contradict each other. 2% of that five, they are really, they got everything on point. They're flowing to the music, they are active, they're flowing with each other, and then the other 3%, something's off. You know, they may be doing amazing movements, but it's not connected, they're not synchronized. Maybe one person just wants to show up, maybe one person just wants to kick, and then maybe they may be very good together, but not good with the music, you know? So we might have something that's going You have a person to help, and they can't do it. It doesn't match. So I love that you said that for you, putting the song with the rhythm kind of contradicted it because that's much of capoeira. And a lot of the times, we can't get too judgmental about it. You know, a mastery of capoeira who's playing the beating ball and controlling it. It's not much he can do because he can't control that person to that extent. He can only control what he set out to control. He set the pace. He's controlling everything that's going on. Now it's up for the players to give him back the energy that he put out. All right, I'm going to bring out the beating ball. really determines um, how loud it's going to be. I have one gore that is very big, much bigger than this, wider, and the hole is so wide that when I go here, I'll stand up, you see how this is completely closed. That's the ideal, right? Okay, so I have a gore that's so big that I can never get it completely closed. And when I break down the, the, the way that you play this instrument, you're going to be like, well, how can you play this one chord when you can't get it to close? So it's just, it's very loud. It's, and that's one of my favorite ones because the group that I'm dealing with right now, my students aren't all at the same level. So a lot of the times I have to play the beating bow. In Capoeira, you have three beating bow. Gunga, Maggi, Viola, bass, medium, and very high. So you have to play three of those at once. We cannot do that always. So sometimes I have to play just the gunga by myself. And I got to hold such a strong presence just for one instrument. And that's why I like to play the really loud one because they can do whatever they want. They can while out on their instruments, they can go crazy, and I'll still be here strong. 
All right, so we have here what we call Virga, possibly made out of medieval wood. I don't know what the trend is these days. People are getting very inventive these days. Okay, we have our gourd. Cut the top off, take the little top off, do a little sanding. Twill, very important. This, I think this is the most important part of the beading bow for me. Because if you don't have the right twill, you're not gonna be satisfied, you know? Every beading bow is personal, you know? You will have capoeira players that will probably like this beading bow, and then others that will be like, no, I don't like the beading bow. I don't like, it. I don't like the twill, you know? So the twill, this is what you hold it with. Okay? So if your twill is rough, the kind of twill that if you rub it on your body it gives you an itch, or if it's if it's hard, it'll give That's you a nice That's a lot of weight bruise. on that one finger. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a good three to five pounds of instrument, predominantly on, on your pinky, but you have your other fingers to kind of help you hold it. We have our tire wire. Um, this wire here was handpicked by me. I took a nice long knife. Well, I actually started off with a short knife, carving, carving for hours. And then my girlfriend came and said, hey, you want to use this big knife? And five minutes, I get all of this wire. All right, we have our kashishi. We have probably more kashishis in the house tonight. Basket weave. Beans in the inside, okay? We have our baketa. Some people like to make it out of tokum. Even some people can take a, uh, a twig off a tree and sand it and make it good. We have our pedra, our rock, our stone, or our dobran, if it's a coin. All right, that's all our pieces. Now, we have, let's see, basics. Three different um, tones or hits. So we have uh, chiche. I like to say chiche because they usually come in twos. So chiche is a treble. Okay. So the reason why you would say why you can't play that other that other chord because it's too big. So for your chiche, the chord has to be completely close. Okay. No sound should be escaping throughout the whole game. Lightly press the rock. And you always want to hit this as hard as you possibly can. A lot of times when I go chit chit, people go. It's all about how you hold the rock here. You want to hold this nice and light and give this a good. What adds to your chit is your kashi shape, baby. It's just like your backup. So are you pressing the stone to make the string more taut or are you just just literally just touching? Literally just touching. Okay. So. Okay. so you're lightly touching, you want to feel the, to buzz it. Yeah. Basically, right. Okay. Yeah. It's the note where you feel the most vibration of the instrument. Okay, our open note. We're going to hold this out here. When you're calling your instrument, let's say you went to a concert, and at the end, they introduce everyone who has played. You know, all of the, the beautiful people playing the drums and the guitar, and they say, we got Ronnie G on the bass, and Ronnie G gives you a nice <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just a, a very fun explanation. So in capoeira, you have to do that to open and close with each instrument. So if I'm beating ball and I'm gunga, I'm first. So I have to give a nice with my open notes. Okay, and then I can... I can fade in. <laughs> Drum, same thing. Do, 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 do. Every instrument has to have a little space of freedom so that you know 
you know what it is, you know that it's there, you know when it's coming. Okay, so our open notes are here. When you do your calling, you want to have it here. As high as you possibly can because you, you want everybody to know what's happening at the same time. You don't want one single person to be like, oh, did he, did he slap the harder? I, I can't see. It's, it's, you want to raise it very high so you have everybody's attention. Think about if you're in a band and you're leading the band. That's what this is. That's what the beating ball is, right? You can't lead the band without giving signals, clear signals. You have to give clear signals or else someone's going to mess up. Okay, so our open note with a calling, fully extended arm. Regular open notes, you don't have to go. Unless you're very expressive. So, we're going to go give our open notes. Out from the stomach. No rock needed for this. Let the rock chill in the middle, not hitting the wood, not hitting the wire. All right, our last note is going to be a ding, which is a closed note. You want to press very hard with the rock against the wire. Don't let it move to the left, don't let it move to the right, especially if you have sensitive ears. Point of contact. Okay. Can you see the wire move? Mm -hmm. So here's my standard position. When I go for ding, I want it to be out more. Okay? And again, out from the chest. All right, so we can put those all together. You have a note that goes like this, but that doesn't really count. You have a note that goes like this, but that doesn't really count. Because those notes, well, this note is necessary for a rhythm. But this is unnecessary unless you're really stylish with playing your leading bop. So, I'm going to play Angola with the beating bow, starting with my calling, okay? You, I'm going to do two callings. My first calling is going to be to start the ceremony, to start the whole halter, okay? Sometimes for Angola, it's safe, but I wouldn't recommend it, okay? They can hit this, and this can fly, things can pop off. It's not a good thing. All right, another way you can do that is just go. Mm. Okay, and when you hear that, you know. It's, it's like a dog with a shock collar. When you hear that, clack, 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 you got to go back. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Lots of so, ways to be mindful then I see of controlling uh, it's, the it's so much. And, and that's just <laughs> starting. Yeah, that's just the starting point <laughs> of it. So then 
again, you would do another, you would do a call to end the game, and then when you want to end, end the harder, extend. Okay, now I need your help again. I need you to play your atabaki and play angola. Yeah. If you notice, when I played, I looked to the left, I did a little something fancy. I looked to the right, I did a little something fancy. That's for me to call in my friends, my beating ball dois, my beating ball tres, okay? So when I give them a variation, they know when to go. I give them a variation, they know when to go. I'm gonna start the harder, I'm gonna play the rhythm, I give you a variation, and then you come in, okay? Okay. All right. Those two? I do, but mine is not as flexible. This is yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll okay. okay. Let's see what she pulls out. Hopefully, she pulls out. Well, it's just oh. it's a sticker one. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I thought you were going to pull out like a a real uh, a oh, real ancient okay. a go go. No, no, no. This is this is this is what I bought. Oh, nice. I mean, this is just LP. This is not a major. But it's, it's okay. I mean, it does the job. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give this to you. And I also put these. But this one doesn't have a handle. Oh. Nice. Thank you for bringing those, Lynn. And one <laughs> Unless someone else wants to do the. Right, okay before, with before we do anything, everyone needs to know who they're playing. This is a go go accent instrument in the bateria, one of the last instruments to, to appear in the band. Okay, and you're going to go. You're going to, oh, you have a bear. This is, this is good, okay? So you're just going to go. Like in other words, typically with most, a lot of other rhythms, you have three different drums mm -hmm. playing three different rhythms in the same Angola, you know? So my question is, is there only one drum pattern in each yes. rhythm? Yes, yes. For capoeira, yes. Mm -hmm. For other things such as samba, samba hegi, kumbla, mm -hmm. then you may have. But I've never really seen more, more than, than one, one a go-go. Go -go. Go -go That's true. Yeah. Okay, you have as many drums as you want, but... Especially um, when you get outside of capoeira, because the go go really dictates, it really sets the tone for every rhythm outside of capoeira. For my you go bing, 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 and then 
and up. Condomble especially, every rhythm in Condomble starts from the bell. You play the rhythm that they're going to play first, they recognize it, and then they go. So for you, when you play the agogo outside of capoeira, you have the power. You're like, oh yeah. But then you have the pressure because you have to keep it going. All right, so everyone has their role, right? Did you bring your pandero? Or no? Okay. Okay, I'll be the last person to come in just to make this quick and easy. And then I open up for like one question a piece for the music portion, and then we'll transition into. We got like five minutes. Okay. Total. Because wow. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, it's quarter to nine. We end All at right. nine. But. So mm -hmm. I, I see you looked around a lot, you looked around a lot, you looked, you did a few. You always want to be connected with the people that are around you, especially when you're in a band. You know, sometimes <laughs> to just say, you're doing a good job, other times to say, hey, what are you doing? You know, trying to, you know. <laughs> Lynn knows with her look band. Around, look around, look around, look around, flash a little smile, do a little variation. <laughs> uh, you see what I did, okay? All right, now, and the main person you want to keep your eyes on is me, okay? Because sometimes I might not give you a vocal, a vocal, um, a guide. I might not give you a vocal note to follow. So sometimes I might just be like, okay, now I'm going to switch from me and on, 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 So sometimes it goes by the rhythm, boom, 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 and sometimes it goes by, I might give you, flash you a little eye and say, we might have some kind of code that you need to look out for visually, okay? But other than that, very good job in the band. Woohoo! Can we do it with the song? Oh, yes. Let's go. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
you got music. <laughs> if, if you if you don't have anything else about capoeira, you have music. But just a small portion of that. I am open to any questions for the rest of the time that we have. Just make it very quick, interesting. <laughs> but you also said you wanted to show us something else too, if they had other questions. So time, that minimum touch can also produce maximum force in a way. So, which is one of the things that I correlated with what we're doing here, right? Very minimum touch, maximum effort pulling you away in your life. So, I don't know, just those chord stroke in my mind, I may say that. That's a, that's a nice way to tie it in, I like that. I did capoeira, but uh, we did not focus too much on the music while I was doing it. I also did it for a short period of time. Okay. So, it was for, for in my case, it was very physical mm -hmm. and a lot of good exercises and things like that. The warm up was already just exhausting. <laughs> the first 15 minutes, you're like, oh, yeah, like, I'm done. Okay, why am I doing this? I had the same experience. When I was in London, that was the first time I did Capoeira, and it was physical. And mm -hmm. there was a little bit of music also happening, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't this, this sort of un getting in tune and understanding the different elements and the styling, the stopping. People who had been there for a while sort of knew, I guess, a little mm -hmm. more. This but, is the stuff that you, you never really get, you know? Um, mindfulness and Capoeira. That's something that a mastery knows. And that's something that a mastery only shares with Kyle.